Three new gun control bills are in the Georgia legislature now, the direct result of the shootings one week ago. They would require a five-day waiting period for gun purchases. 11 Live's Doug Richards reports on the bill's chances. However well intended, there are several reasons why it will be next to impossible to enact new legislation restricting gun sales this year. About two dozen bills have been floating around the General Assembly this year that would either curb or expand gun rights. Not a single one of them has gotten a vote in the House or Senate. But the killing of eight people at Metro Atlanta spas spurred three new virtually identical bills to require a five-day waiting period for gun sales in Georgia. Police say the alleged gunman, Robert Aaron Long, purchased the murder weapon that same day. The intent is uh, to allow, again, that impulsivity, that, that rage or, or um, anger to subside. And it's going to build in a cooling off period for people uh, who are suicidal, murderous, this kind of thing. No one should need to get a gun that same day. Public safety and homeland security. Yet the Georgia legislature has protected gun rights for generations. The state's governor, Brian Kemp, ran for office holding a shotgun in one of his commercials. Pro-gun lawmakers we approached said the emotions of the killings last week were too fresh to discuss why they would oppose a five-day waiting period. And even the bill's sponsors acknowledged that no new legislation has much of a chance to pass before adjournment next week. I think this is the time that we need to start examining what kind of culture we want to be and what we prioritize in our legislation. And I think that we need to focus on gun safety as a priority moving forward. But going forward may mean years, as long as the Democrats remain the minority party in the Georgia legislature.